All right, so here I have the good old Trimble TSC3 and the new TSC5. We have been using this for a few weeks out here in all of the elements, um, freezing rain, snow, really bright conditions, uh, nighttime, you name it, and the thing has worked great. So this TSC-5 has a lot of advantages over the TSC-3. I've been using this TSC-3 for about 11 or 12 years and this TSC-5 for a couple months now and it was only a learning curve for about a day before I was used to it and didn't want to go back. TSC-7 was not a big interest to me because I have to hike a lot and it's so heavy. This TSC-5 weighs, it feels the exact same as this TSC-3. You can see the 5 is a little bit taller than the 3 is. It's certainly wider with that big touch screen. Um, it's thinner except with this mount on it. It looks just as thick, but it is a thinner unit. So the TSC-3, you can see this one, it's, uh, this one's two and a half years old and the rubber is pretty well beat up. We do a lot of mountain work, a lot of mountain surveying, um, crawling over rocks and our stuff gets used. And this thing is held up incredibly and uh, the, the rubber casing shows it. This one has rubber just around the screen and the rest is a hard plastic. I assume it'll hold up just as well. I think the plastic is more prone to take some dings than the rubber is. So this TSC-5 has a super bright screen in it. Right now we're out here, the sun is shining bright, no clouds in the sky, fresh snow everywhere. This is as bright as conditions I've ever worked in. And I can see this TSC-5 screen excellent. The TSC-3 screen, I gotta get the right angle to see it well enough. There's a major difference. Can't imagine not being able to see this screen with how bright it is ever. At first I saw this big glass screen worried about breaking it. Uh, I talked to Trimble and they talked about all these tests they did with a, a steel ball drop and it's, it's supposed to endure a lot. Um, it has held up incredibly well. I don't even have the screen protector on this one because it's a kind of a trial unit and I haven't run into a situation where I've actually been scared of breaking the screen. So I know that they put a lot of research and development into this stuff. It, really seems like a durable unit. It's got this raised rubber edging around it so you can kind of knock it around on the sides and it's not going to take the abuse on the screen. This thing was obviously designed to be out here in a real world situation every day, um, not just in an office. And I have been using it all through the mountains, construction sites, everything, and it has held up great, not had an issue. So these are the two different cradle mounts for these data collectors. Right now they feel about the same. One thing I have noticed with this TSC-5 cradle, first of all, it's not real intuitive how to put it on, but it does go on. It feels like it stays really well. That mounts to your, your grip on the rod and it, it feels to me like it sticks out a little further than it should and there's some leverage there. Um, it's all you know really high quality components but when I'm holding the rod out if I'm trying to like hold it with one hand and balance it it just feels like a little more weight than I'm used to. Whereas the, the cradle I use on the TSC-3 kind of snugs it up against the rod as close as you can get and a little, little less leverage there and so it feels lighter on the rod but that's what you get when you have a, a wider screen. It's got a camera and a flashlight. The camera in this is as great as uh, any modern cell phone. Um, it's quick. The TSC3 camera is old and grainy and it takes a while to link those media files to your points in the TSC5 it's really quick like you would expect. This is the battery. A little bit more difficult to get to if there's a need to pull it or replace it. Uh, the TSC-3 battery, you get your built-in screwdriver right here and you can pop it out right away if you needed to. 
the, the battery life, I used this for a few real long days in the field and it was still holding on just fine. It had, I don't know, 30, 40% at the end of the day and that's with the screen bright. So that's one of the things I was worried about and no worries there. The TSC-3 with a good battery, it can go a couple days it seems like. So this TSC-5 has a USB uh, Type-C port. That's the only data port, the only charging port. And the TSC-3 has your USB-A, your power, your um, data connection, and then uh, if you need to wire up to your, your receiver, your instrument, it's got all that. This one doesn't have all that. The USB Type-C is actually meant to do quite a bit more. You can use any Android charger to charge this thing. Uh, so if you've already got a cigarette lighter plug-in charger in your truck, you can just use this to plug it right in. Uh, it may not be the fastest way to charge it because you don't have enough uh, watts, but the one that comes with it can charge this thing in like an hour and a half. It's pretty quick. Um, there is a, a battery port in the back if you want to put a supplemental battery and it comes with a built-in battery you can put yet another battery and just go out for like a couple days camp out not have to worry about plugging it in this uh, usb seat port uh, is great you can get a flash drive for like 20 30 bucks it's got a usb c on one side a usb a on the other side and you can just plug it straight into here if you don't have, if you don't have a computer it has usb c uh, you can use one of those to go back and forth, but even between these two data collectors, you can take a, a JXL file or a job file back and forth um, through one flash stick. So the USB-C, I don't see it as a limitation. I'm an iPhone user. This is Android based. I've never used Android before. I picked this thing up and it wasn't too hard to figure out. It's all touch screen. Anybody that's messed with computers in the last 10 years can probably figure it out pretty quick. I'm gonna to go to Trimble Access. I can get out of that by hitting this circle button. It goes back to like the home screen. It has the pull down. I can change um, my stylus or finger. I, if I don't want it to react to my fingers, I can make it stylus only. And I can turn the flashlight on right here which is a lot better than the TSC-3 if I need to use a flashlight in my work. I'm going to Trimble Access. It's just so quick. I can go to open a job and then hit the back arrow and it just takes me right back to where I was at. And you can have all the windows open in here. Um, control tab between them and it's, it's pretty quick. So I like on this map screen, it's really easy, really fast. You can just pan around all of your field data uh, you can even tap that, go into 3D mode. That was not something that the TSC-3 could even think about doing. And if it tried, it would probably just bog down too much. So, and it has all the same functions as the TSC-5 did. You, you can pan to point, uh, filter, uh, do all the same stuff if you're doing point coding. In the TSC-5, it'll draw your line work for you. Um, just incredible options in here. So the TSC-5 is like a smaller version of the TSC-7. If you've used the TSC-7, that thing's big, heavy, bulky, and kind of not fun to carry around all day. This is the unit for you if you're going to be in the field all day with a data collector. I would pick this any day over the 7. This unit does not work with a scanner so we haven't done any SX10 or SX12 scanning with it. The way that the software works in this 5 is just like the 7 as far as setting up projects, coordinate systems, all that. Once you learn it it's pretty straightforward. The TSC3 um, very similar obviously you move up there's going to be some more functionality a few quirks you got to learn but it's for anybody that's been doing this for a while. The screen what's kind of neat about it is you can switch it between being uh, stylus mode or finger mode or glove mode and that all works pretty good. I think one day my hands were, my gloves were co covered in freezing snow and I was having some trouble but the stylus still did great when there was um, a bunch of frost on the screen. So there's a couple of things that take some getting used to. Little things, the stylus has this clip instead of a slot you slide it in. I think I still prefer the slot, maybe it's just a matter of time. The enter button for storing shots 
isn't quite as uh, big and bulky and convenient. The, the keyboard's great. The buttons are a little bigger than the TSC-3 and pretty easy to navigate. It's got a louder speaker on it. If you're working around traffic, it's easier to hear. The screen is really bright. Uh, and also you can change the brightness. It's got nighttime mode. I like that. It's got a ton of battery life in it. A great camera. There's a few times that uh, it's just takes some getting used to, but overall it's a great unit. Looking forward to upgrading permanently from the TSC-3.